Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to go through some exam questions on probability tree diagrams. So I've put these in order of difficulty. So let's get started on our first question. So Tina has two bags of counters, bag A and bag B. There are five red counters and three blue counters in bag A. There are four red counters and five blue counters in bag B. So Tina takes at random a counter from each bag. So we've got to complete the probability tree diagram. Okay, so let's start off with the probabilities for bag A. So if we add up how many counters we've got in bag A, five add three is eight. So the probability of picking a red counter will be five out of eight. So we put this probability here. And the probability of picking a blue counter from bag A will be three out of eight. So the second set of branches is for the probabilities of bag B. So again, if we add up the amount of counters we've got, so four add five is nine. So the probability of picking a red counter out of bag B would be 4 out of 9. And the probability of picking a blue counter would be 5 out of 9. So we now repeat these for the bottom part of the tree diagram because it doesn't matter what we picked out of bag A. These just get repeated. So we put 4 ninths and five ninths okay so let's have a look at part b so work out the probability that tina takes two blue counters so when we're working out the probabilities of the outcomes we need to work from left to right across our tree diagram so we need the probability of a blue and a blue so the route we're going to take is this bottom route here so we just times these two probabilities together. So 3 times 5 is 15, 8 nines is 72. And that's our final answer. You can simplify it if you want to as well. Okay, so let's move on to our second exam question. Okay, so Mary travels to work by train every day. The probability that a train will be late on any day is 0 0.15. So complete the probability tree diagram for Thursday and Friday. So let's first of all work out the probability that the train is late. So to do this, we just need to take uh, 0 0.15 away from 1. So that is 0 0.85. So we put that probability there. So we just need to now complete the probabilities for Friday. These will be exactly the same as Thursday because it's not a conditional probability tree diagram. So we just put 0 0.15 here and 0 0.85 here and, re and repeat these on the bottom branches too. So let's have a look at part B. So we've got to work out the probability that a train will be late on at least one of these two days. Okay, so one possibility then would be that the train is late on both days. So probability that it's late and late. So we can do these by multiplying the top two probabilities together. So it'd be 0 0.15 times 0.15 so just put this on your calculator so 0.15 times 0.15 is 0.0225 so another possibility then would be that the train is late on Thursday and not late on Friday. So 
So again, we just did 0 0.15 times 0 0.85. So put this on the calculator again, so it's 0 0.15 times 0 0.85, so that is 0 0.1275. And our final possibility then would be that the train is not late on Thursday and late on Friday. So this would be 0 0.85 times 0 0.15, which is the same answer as the one above. So we just need to now add these three answers together to get our final answer. So we've got 0 0.0225 plus 0 0.1275 add 0 0.1275 so that gives the final answer of 0 0.2775 so let's have a look at our final exam question on tree diagrams okay so this is the hardest one of the lot so there are eight counters in a bag five of the counters are red Three of the counters are blue. So two counters are taken out of the bag at random. So work out the probability that one counter of each colour are taken. So you must show you're working. Okay. So let's draw up a tree diagram. This will be the easiest way to do the question. Okay. So... Our outcomes for our first counter would be red or blue. So there's five red counters. So it'd be five out of, if we add those up, five of three is eight. So it's five out of eight for a red, and it'd be three out of eight for a blue. So let's complete our second counter then next. This is our second counter. So for our second counter, again, we can pick a red and a blue. So we've got to remember when we do these two here, we've already picked out a red counter previously. So both of these would be out of seven because there's one less counter. Okay, so the probability of picking another red would be four out of seven. And the probability of picking a blue would be 3 out of 7. These add up to a whole one. And let's complete our bottom route. So on the bottom route, we picked out a blue counter first. So again, we can pick out a red or a blue counter on our second one. So again, these two would be out of seven. So if we've picked out a blue previously, three out of eight, the probability of picking another two would be two out of seven because there's one less blue. And this would then would mean that one would be five out of seven. Okay, so we can now answer uh, the exam question. So work out the probability that one count of each colour are taken. So the two outcomes that we need are a probability of a red and a blue. So we can get this one by multiplying 5 eighths by 3 sevenths. So that is 15 out of 56. Or our other option is the probability of picking a blue and a red. So that would be 3 eighths times 5 sevenths, which again is 15 out of 56. So if we add these two up, that will give us 30 out of 56.
Okay, and that is our final answer. So I hope you liked this, this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.